Hey guys, I usually don't do this, but I'm going to put this clip in uh, before the rest of the video. Um, just to ask you, if you're here watching, uh, please stay tuned all the way throughout this whole video to the very end. Uh, some hard choices have been made and some decisions and try to explain it best I can. I've been dreading doing this for a while, but uh, it's high time. I don't want to put you guys off any longer and hopefully it makes sense what I'm trying to say. So if you would stay tuned to the very end for this one. Um, got any questions, like I said, definitely drop it down in the comments. I really appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you for all the following. Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, it's the ending of another day here on the farm. I didn't turn the camera on at all today. Uh, be perfectly honest with you, I got a lot on my mind. A lot of things are happening, a lot of things going on. I'll uh, detail a lot of that here in the end of this video, tell you a little bit about what's going on and what's to come. Um, but we've just been busy today doing uh, miscellaneous repair work. I didn't really feel like that, uh, you know, I needed to bring you guys along for all that. Um, We'll get some opinions here at the end of the video too on a couple things, but um, hot. It's hot. I got my straw hat on. It's the uh, hottest day we've had here in North Carolina so far. It's about 93. The humidity's through the roof. I think that heat wave that hit the west and midwest uh, finally got to us here. It's supposed to be hot today, and I think tomorrow again, and then I believe towards the first of the week it's going to cool back down to the you know high 70s and 80s where it's supposed to be right now. But Anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of things that we've uh, been involved with today and then uh, try to get myself situated maybe in front of a fan. I know that's kind of some background noise, but tell you a little bit about what's going on and uh, we'll go from there. Well, please overlook the mess, but there's uh, a pile of PTO shafts in the corner there that I'm having no luck with getting bush hogs going. Of course, there's the front part of the one to the big one. I uh, finally did get a hold of uh, the driveline shop. I'm uh, going to have to cut an arm and a half off to get that uh, side shaft made that's not counting the front one I'm gonna have to make that one myself but we got the little B414 in here I uh, haven't been on the channel in a while uh, my buddy usually uses this tractor old motors about wore out but uh, PTO shaft messed up again uh, it's got a snap ring on it we got it out the shaft itself um, there's the gear for it um, Snap ring holds that on the shaft and uh, he hits something kind of like I did, just dirt or whatever, and it'll override that snap ring and push that gear up where it won't engage. You got to pull everything out. The snap ring is wore out. Uh, we finally found some online. going to order those. I'm going to order two of them. He's actually going to cut another groove in the uh, shaft itself, so we're going to double snap ring it there, so hopefully that won't happen again. So we've been working on that here in the shop today. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Oh well, I'll show you this right quick. Um, sorry about the winds, storms this afternoon they're saying. But there it is. I got the new truck hooked to the trailer with the old truck on it. Um, still got quite a bit to do yet before I haul it off and we'll try to get it hauled off this week. Uh, got all the doors off of it. Um, for the regulators in the glass, I got most of the dash out, odometer, radio uh, heater controls light switch miscellaneous um, still got to get the uh, um, alternator here off of it and the power steering pump and the ac compressor but uh and the trailer plug on the uh, truck is wired up wonky i don't know what's going on so i'm gonna have to rewire that um, but anyway i wanted to get it on here and tie it down today so we did uh, fighting the rust and the bees but uh show you the inside of the bed for my buddy took that other piece off just how rusty this thing is that's what's left of the the, <laughs> the bed there but you guys saw some of the front of it i think but this thing is just gone so but anyway we've been working on that uh got that loaded up um service truck's doing good we put about 250 miles on it uh so far no issues the air conditioning's working great so uh, I'll definitely bring you guys along the day we haul this down the road. It won't be on this video, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you a little smidget of it. So I'll tell you one more thing and then uh, we'll get started divulging what's going on. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I possibly can. You'll probably be here for 10 or 15 minutes if you stay, but uh, the thing I was gonna tell you uh, after the last clip was I did get the tail wheel piece for the uh, five bottom John Deere 2500. When that comes in, I'll detail more about that, who I got it from, who turned me on to that person, super nice guy. Um, when I take the truck down the road, I promised all you guys when I was building it, I'd get a, a tape of that we're going to, going down the road, pulling, uh, when the track hoe or whatever it is he's got down there at that moment grabs it and pulls it off the trailer and throws it in the pile we're done with that rust bucket um, but I've thought about this for over a week now and I'm not really sure how to say it or what to say or what to do uh, but I'm just going to throw it out there I'm going to take a break guys uh, I'm going to take a break from a lot of things for uh, a while uh, YouTube uploading videos uh, YouTube following uh, you know commenting um, the farm uh, I just need a break. Um, the way the world is today and the things that are happening and things that are going on have really gotten under my skin over the last month and it just keeps getting worse by the day and it didn't help anything going today and putting, you know, a hundred dollars worth of gas in the service truck to finish filling it back up. Oh, you guys know that. But keep in mind, this is a hobby for me and we've said it a hundred times there's no return on my investment here at all right now it will be and what i've done will be a plus down the road but with everything the way it is i can't just keep dumping money into a boat you know that's got a big old hole in it and just keeps washing right down um, that's nothing against the farm itself or what i'm doing that's just that's just the way it is and you guys that are farming and doing this to put food on your table and the, the amount of money that you have to put out is just utterly ridiculous People just don't understand where things come from in life. So my prayers go out to all you guys that do it and have to continue on and have to drudge through these hard times. I'm just gonna sit back and learn some more, save some money, um, take a little bit of a break. I've put off a lot of stuff at the house for the wife that I should have already you know, done a long time ago from being up here at the farm. I've started a few of those projects. And I'll be honest with you, it's felt pretty good this week um, not having a schedule to keep you know, this mind up here, my OCD is my worst enemy. Knowing that I gotta post a video on this day or that day or whatever the case may be, I, I just, I can't do it anymore. Main thing is because what I'm doing and what I feel like I'm gonna be doing in the future here at the farm is not gonna be very video worthy. If you guys wanna see it, drop it down in the comments. You know, I know that I have a, a following of, of true friends that will watch anything that I post, but I don't wanna make you guys watch videos just to be watching them and you know, whatever, so. If anybody wants to see it, drop it down in the comments. You know, if I'm in a good mood that day and things are going good, I'll turn the camera on, we'll film some, and we'll just upload a video whenever. Um, but I guess in a nutshell, I'm just going to take a break. Um, I'll probably still come up here to the farm most of the time, at least two to three days a week. Um, you know, probably the next big thing that I'm going to try to tackle here is getting rid of this wall section behind me. That, that's not gonna cost anything, that's tear down. I've already got the big angle iron lintel to go up there and get this shop opened up so that I can get some stuff in here to work on it. You know, um, the planter, the drill, uh, the big bush hog, you know, stuff like that where I can get out of the sun, out of the elements, out of the weather, you know, whatever. Um, so that's probably the next big thing I'm gonna take on. And then we're just gonna have to see from there. I mean, I've gotta do something with these fields at some point. Um, you know, hopefully the, uh, uh, drive shaft eventually shows up for the bush hog and I can get the other one built and you know whatever we've got the PTO shaft out of this one that you're sitting on here so hopefully that'll go back together my buddy loves the bush hog with his tractor so I think you know it might take a few Saturdays here or there to uh, work on that but um, I'm just not going to pressure myself I'm not going to put a, uh, a, a time frame on anything I, I don't know why I haven't learned that already but I think the main difference this time is that I'm going to kind of pull away from YouTube just a little bit, pull away from social media as much. Um, when I get time, uh, I'll be there and please don't take it personally, you guys that I follow. I'll try to keep up with, you know, most of you the best I can. But, uh, you know, instead of going home in the evenings after working up here all day and, you know, spending two or three hours on the, the phone watching videos or answering comments or whatever the case may be and ignoring my wife, I'm going to spend some more time with her. Um, nothing against anybody, nothing against anything. You know, I may lose everybody that's followed me up to this point. Um, you guys may just kick it to the curb, and if you do, I totally understand. But 
just got to do what I got to do right now. I wanted to go ahead and throw this out there so you guys would know. I didn't post a video last week on Wednesday, first time in a long time. I haven't kept my schedule. Didn't seem to really raise any eyebrows. I told a few people about it, but uh, just hopefully now you understand what's going on. When a video is worthy and I post one or feel like I've got one, you know, that's decent, um, I'll post it up and, you know, we'll see what happens. If you guys enjoy it, you do. Um, my dream is still the same, the end goal is still the same, and one day we will have crops here. Just the reality is really set in this year that it's going to be a lot longer than I ever anticipated. So I've babbled on long enough. Uh, drop anything down in the comments you want. I really appreciate all you guys. Thank you for all the new subscribers. You know, thank you for the ones that's been here with me from the beginning. I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up on my dream. I'm not giving up on YouTube. I just need a break for a little while. And most people do it at some point in time, and it's, it's time for Nelson to do it this time. So. I'll be around. Uh, thank you all for everything you do. Really appreciate that. We'll see what happens. Till next time. Thank you.